Welcome back to Skyrim. My name is Quiddy. Uh, today in Skyrim, we're going to be. Um, where's my fireplace? I thought I had a fireplace in this house. Did I not? Oh, never mind then. Let's say hello to everyone in our house. This is our new house, everybody. For those of you who missed the last episodes, we finally bought a house in Whiterun, which means all my family's finally moved again. in. We have Lydia. We have Jizago the Bussy Cat. We also have Blaze, my new son, uh, which seems to be in here. Hello, Blaze. And there's Nessie, my beautiful wife. Um, and uh, Blaze also said he had like something in the chest, but I, I can't really so seem I to find it. To I think Blaze was lying to me, but it doesn't matter. Is okay, um, also, I've also found out from you guys that you can actually get um, two kids per house. So, uh, apparently there's a little girl running about, which um, needs Squiddy's adoption skills um but we're not gonna do that just yet i've got a lot of things planned for this episode and it's going to be epic uh if you can remember we went up to dragon's reach and uh before we like i bought the house from that baldy um the yarl said something about like capturing a dragon and uh, at the time i was like Meh, i just want to get blaze uh, but now i've thought about it it would be really cool to try and uh, capture a dragon so that is what I'm going to do. Oh my god, look at this weather. It's absolutely pouring it down. It's dark. What time is it? It's quarter to eight at night. It's lousy weather. Pussycats don't like this weather, Jazago, so you should be inside drying your fur off. Um, guards have got a really unfortunate job. They've got to be what outside patrolling all day, every day. doesn't matter about the weather. They've got to be out here. Even if it's snowing or it's raining giants. This guy's, this guy's just out in the rain 24-7 as well. Um, so yeah, anyway, what are we are going to do? going to go see the Arl. I'm going to go tell him that I'll help him capturing um, a dragon. So yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do in today's episode, guys. Um, I also got myself um, an Irish tin whistle, which uh, I'm going to learn to play some songs on. Um, so yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're gonna do in between loading screens. If loading screens get a bit boring, some person said to me, Squid, do something about the loading screens in Skyrim. And I can't do anything apart from edit them out. So I thought, why not get a musical instrument to lighten up the mood? So yeah, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna learn it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Baldi's Elf, so I'm in the crappy house. I'm joking, it's really good. May the um, gods watch over your battles, oh, friend. Yarl, hello. What is it that you need? Uh, I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. Uh. I must have misheard you. Why am I staring at you? I chair? thought you oh, asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Ah, uh, no, you didn't mishear me. Um, you know I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, Mr. Jarl. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. Why? Please. Dragon's Reach was built to hold a dragon. According to legend. Although I never thought to put the tail to the test. Well, now is your time, Yarl. Yarl. Olaf One-Eye it was, who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single combat atop Mount Anthor and brought it back to Whiterun. I can do that. I've got Dragonrend. Numenex was the dragon's name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. Where? Where's this skull? Uh, let's ask him again. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. Impossible. You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city with the threat of war on my doorstep? Yeah, that's correct. Um, it's the only way to stop the dragon's attacks. There must be another way. The risk is too great. It's not. The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I'm Dragonborn. It's my destiny to stop him. I don't know about such things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Let's do it then. what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? We need to do it. It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Here we go. We've got to help him do Ulfric a million and quests. General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Uh, what if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Then 
I would be glad to help you with ah. your mad dragon trapping. We get in some way, Getting both Mr. sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Okay, I'm liking the sound of this. Completed. Talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. Get the beards to help negotiating a truce. Here we go, guys. Now, what we have to do? if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. If you don't mind, I've got bread to eat. Okay, new quest, guys. We need to talk to Argandar. He's the old guy up in High Rothgar. He's the old, old wizard person. He's not really a wizard, but he's, um, he knows dragon stuff like me. Um, so, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to go and see the old fellows right at the top of the mountain we're gonna hold a peace conference and hopefully just hopefully we'll be able to bring the two sides together and um yeah get a dragon in dragon's reach for once that's what it's meant for so this is how we're gonna do it uh, i just think oh wait a minute where are we now there we go right what i'm gonna do just because it's gonna take a million hours and a million learning screens for me to get inside this place uh, i'll skip the video I'll cut the video to uh, when I'm actually inside the place. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. Right, here we are, guys. We're inside High Rothengar or whatever it's called. Uh, we need to go talk to um, Argandar, which is probably through another door. Yes, he is. He's outside doing his training in High Rothgar courtyard. He's probably learning some more shouts or teaching some more students like me. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go see what this guy says. See what his brain says i don't that didn't even make sense but oh well uh let's carry on going where's it where is it oh, oh i told you he's doing some shouts he's making some pretty circles in the sky should we should we scare him with the bell no we heard the dragon wren shout from here you defeated him um yes but he escaped i need to find his portal to southern guard i feared as much i thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle uh, I need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. Uh, I worry about capturing a dragon. I need your help to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Well, now's your time, Agenda. The Jarl Balgruf won't help m me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards. They will listen. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. That's right. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Can't I send a text to them? <laughs> oh my god. Are you ready to host the Peace Council? Deliver the message to the warring party. If they will listen, I will do what I can to okay. bring them to terms. Okay, okay, okay. Win. Right. Got looks you. like we can't send a text message over to the two sides, guys. It looks like we're going to have to go on foot and try and find these two lovely people, which... Where, why is my map all grey? Is it because it's night time? That's weird. Um, right, where do we go now? There's one over here in Windhelm, which I haven't unlocked yet for some stupid reason. Which means we're gonna have to go on a quest. Have I unlocked here? Kindsgrove. Right, looks like we're going to Kindsgrove, guy. Guys, we need to go and find this fellow who lives here, and uh, looks like it's a job for Arrow. But unfortunately, I don't know where Arrow is. She seems to be on horse holiday, which is a very bad problem because I don't want to have to walk all this way. Hmm, we're gonna have to see. I might have to do that thing, uh, the Dark Brotherhood, to get that horse, that other horse. Uh, I don't really want to buy another one because, um, yeah, this horse from the Dark Brotherhood doesn't die. It's invincible. So I'm gonna do the quest to get that. I'll have to just put up with walking for the time being. I don't know where Arrow is. I hope she's alright. Sven! Hello, Sven! If you don't know who Sven is, where have you been? Sven was with us in like the first or second episode. We named a chicken after him. Ah, oh, look at Sven, he's so beautiful. Um, right, on foot, guys, where are we going? There's two things. 
Uh, but one of them is putting me off because I don't know which one to follow. We need to go to the one to the right, so over here. I think this is the right one. By the big shoehorn. Is this correct? Am I going the right way? We need to aim for... I think this is right. Yeah, if we could just keep going. An outsider. Keep good. No reason to stop in Kynesgrove. Keep moving. Ooh, she's not very nice, is she? I'm just going to step all over a potato plant. Take that, evil woman. Right, looks like we have to go over here. We're going to have to go on an adventure. I guess this place we're going to is this massive mountain. Uh, this massive mountain, this massive castle. That's what I'm going to say. I guess it's all the way over here. Um, Don't really know how far it is. It's not that far. We're nearly here. We just got to cross these waters. There's a horsey there. Is this the place? I think this is the place. It's pretty beautiful. I can't believe I haven't been here before. Why did you guys not tell me about this place? Hello, horsey. Mwah. Um, look at this guy. has got all these stables. Windhelm stables. Oh, my God. Uh, I guess this is the place, then. Windhelm. Here we go, guys. Let's see what this place have to, has to offer. I guess it's, it's no going to be a place secret, full of no brand new quests, brand new adventures, and um, a lot of battles, I guess. It looks pretty empty. There's not a lot of townsfolk around. Is that because we're not even inside yet? Derp, derp, derp. This is because we're not inside yet. These are the these are the main gates to Windhelm. We need to talk to Aventus Arentino. Sounds Italian, but we'll see. I'm not going to judge him. Uh, so yeah, we need to get rings for that guy as well. He's, uh, he's, a, he's in a pub in... Um, not sure what it is. But he wants to marry his wife and he has to get a load of emeralds or stones or something. I've got that as a quest and I need to get I need to carry on getting stones for him. Can't remember what they are. They're like really rare stones, which you can't like pick up just willy nilly. Um, and for those of you who are America and you don't know what willy nilly means, it means you can't pick them up just randomly. Um, so yeah. Um, no, that was a bad example. Willy nilly means like anywhere. So yeah. English with squid. Yay! <laughs> Uh, food, you pollute our city with your stink, farms, and you see. refuse to help the Stormcloaks. It's honest work. If oh. it's we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Oh, oh. Imperial spies? Oh. You can't be serious. Maybe oh. we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. No, you would. Oh. <sighs> I'll you hate the Dark Elves. Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? No, I like Dark Elves. No, I don't hate your people. You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Looks like those Nords were giving you trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. Oh god, this place he is likes horrible. To get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. That's not nice. I wish I could help. Mm -hmm. You're not giving me any options We're to help, is it? Why would anyone think you're a spy? Nord, and it isn't blah, blah, blah. Fact, Do we get any quests? About anyone who isn't yeah. a Nord. We won't bother reading all your dialogue because we're not going to help you and get any cool Until next weapons. Time. Uh, right, anyway, guys, we need to go find. Look at this guy. I was one of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army. Until oh, yeah? I took a sword to the chest. What a sword! What is with these town folk? The people back in. Where is it now? White were like, I was an adventurer like you, and then I took an arrow to the knee. The people in Wil Windhelm are like, I used to be an adventurer like you, but I took a sword to the chest. Look at this one, getting warm on all the charcoal. I guess it's in here, the Palace of the Kings discovered. That's a bit modest. Who named them the Kings? Let's go in here and see all these jokers. See what plans they've got. See if we can hold a peace conference to this Italian guy. He's not Italian, really. He's just got an Italian name. So we're going to go see what he has to say. This is a bit empty. Give us a straight answer. Has he been robbed? Nord, he'll come around. It's just a really big, long Don't dining be so table. sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from the talking all the way out there. The Empire is putting a great Hello, deal Jal. of pressure on the Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? Do I know you? I believe we've already met. Is that so? Uh, yep. Yes. You were with us at Helgen. That's right. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. My head was going to go. Uh, I helped Ralph escape. He said he'd vouch for me. Rayloff's a liar. I hope that's true. He's a damn good man, but he hasn't returned yet. So I'll need to wait for his account. 
For now, speak with Galma. No, I need to speak I'm to you. I'm looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helga. Look, we need to speak, me and you. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. Well, I don't want to join this place. It's horrible. Have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. Excuse How me, mate. Are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgroff a Why is he talking like that? Am I standing in his way? If by message you mean shoving a sword through Oi. his gullet. Yow. Right, we're going to have to follow him, guys. We're going to we're have, have, to, have to see what these guys are saying. Don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest, then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our army. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Galmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. Do we have to listen to this? I'm sorry, right? I need to talk to this guy. Speak with we can Galmar. listen to these guys for hours. Up and see where we I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? Um, they want to negotiate a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Uh... Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. If that's true, we're all doomed anyway. And if it isn't true, well, then the fight to free Skyrim goes on. Either way, I don't see the use in talking to the Empire. The Greybeards won't let the Empire take advantage of you. Uh, Tullius will look weak if he refuses, not you. You're right. Let Tullius be the one to insult the Greybeards by refusing their summons. Show up these Imperials for the foreigners they really are. So you come to the Peace Council? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. <laughs> Huh. Yes, but Jolly good. I don't know why I was listening to them blab on about for war me. for like two war minutes. I thought it was like part of the whole I'll thing, uh, but it wasn't. I just got caught up in the moment and I wanted to know if they was really pursuing the war or not. And uh, yeah, they were planning on attack. But it looks like Squiddy got in there first to um, to make them come to the Peace Council. So that means we got one down, guys. We just need to talk to General Tullius. General Tullius is located over here in a place called solitude so we're gonna head there now we're gonna fast travel we've got time uh, so yeah we've got, we've got one person we just need to get this guy and then we can carry on with the quest everything's going according to plan and uh, yeah can't wait I can't wait to see what this peace council holds but there's gonna be some punch-ups but there's gonna be some tank cards thrown there's gonna be some dishes thrown at people's faces it's gonna be a damn good party if it's not a party but it's gonna be a party for me because I'm just gonna sit there and watch everyone Smash each of us facing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, got one person down. Just this one last person to go. I think as well they're releasing codes for the uh, Elder Scrolls Online beta version. So I might try and get my hands on one of them. See if I can give you guys a sneak peek of the Elder Scrolls Online. I mean, I'd really love to play it as well. But if I can try and get one, then I'll definitely make a video on it. Uh, it will be on the PC, obviously, because... Well, it's made on the PC. And um, that's the first choice. 
of uh, of a release. Where where's this Off now? Castle Dwarf. Looks we'll like it's in here, guys. Uh, so yeah, if I can get a if we get an early release code, uh, and then I'll definitely do some videos on it because I know you guys are Skyrim crazy, just like me. Um, so it should be pretty cool to see the online features and how they've implemented them into a working like gameplay sort of sort story scenario sort of basis. Uh, so I'll definitely try and check that out. I need to get in contact with, yeah, with the guys. So here we what go. Is Here's it? General Tullius. Hello, good sir. I remember you. You were at Helgen. Speak to Legged Ricka. I suspect we could use someone like you. That's not why I'm here. I see. Then there's nothing further to discuss. If you change your mind, speak with the Legged. No, 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 I need to speak to you. I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? Those old hermits, they're conveying a peace council at the Hyrathgar. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce until the dragon's menace they is They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. The dragons are a bigger problem than Stormcloaks right now. The best time to negotiate is from a portion of strength. Ulfric has attended, already agreed to attend. Has he? I suppose he doesn't want to miss a chance to bluster about the Empire's many crimes. He's probably hoping I'll refuse so he can blame the Empire for being unreasonable. I think I'll have to disappoint him yet again. Yay! So you come to the Peace Council? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. Jolly good, we've done it, guys. We did it. Oh my God, talk to Argandar. We need to go and see. Ulfric's planning an attack. No, I'm not listening to this war talk again. I did this a couple of minutes ago, and it went terribly. So yeah, we need to go to High Rothka to see the old man, which is currently on screen now. That is Jolly Good Diamond. They're going to get together and hold a peace council, talk about things, talk about baking and cooking and cleaning, and then hopefully they'll, um, no, I'm joking, they're, they're hopefully going to be coming together in peace and uh, hopefully going to come to some some conclusion where we can all get along and uh, stop focusing on killing each other and Hyrule kill Oscar. dragons from now on. Uh, but unfortunately guys, here's the end of the episode here. My name is Squid. I'm gonna do some target practice just to um, to head out. See how we do. Oh, I did crap. Then let's do one more time. Be careful. Boom! Bullseye. Careful. I'm sorry, Mr. Sir. Uh, anyway, guys. Yeah, my name is B Squid. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. And uh, make sure you join me same time tomorrow for. Now. Well, I keep saying same time tomorrow, but when I release my Skyrim, it can be anywhere from five o'clock all the way till about nine o'clock. So I'm sorry. I am a bit. Rubbish. I like to play Skyrim when I feel like playing Skyrim, so when I'm in like a really jolly mood and I just want to play the game. So if it is like a bit off, then I am sorry, but I am going to get it out every single day. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Squared, and I'll see you later. Bye!